Good morning. It's Thursday the 10th of August 2023 and today I'm right up in the north of the Peak District again. In the northwest area this time really. Um, I've just parked in a car park called Bin Green which is just off the A635. Just talk about that a bit more as we go on. Dropping to a service track, I went left along it to reach a dam. So I'm here at the wonderful Dovestone Reservoir. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Dovestone is another part of the Peak District where I rarely come. And again, like my last walk, it's because it's that much further away from home. But what a beautiful area. I've been wanting to do a walk around Dovestone for a long time now. And here I am today to finally do it. Okay, so let's get on then. So we'll have a look at Dovestone Reservoir a bit later on because now I'm going to be walking beside Yeoman Hay Reservoir. Yeoman Hay Reservoir is one of three reservoirs in the same valley. Below it is Dovestone Reservoir, and above it is Greenfield Reservoir. They lie to the south of the A635 across Saddleworth Mall and are all owned by United Utilities. The building of these reservoirs started in the 1870s with Yeoman Hay completed in 1880. My walk for today began as I followed the track above the reservoir bank. In less than a mile, the track rose to the higher dam of Greenfield Reservoir. This is Greenfield Reservoir now. So a good hour and a half journey today from Matlock, so it's not that far away, but of course I've got so many other parts of the Peak District which are closer to where I live, I tend to stick to those places more. So places like here around Dovestone and Yeoman Hay Reservoir and Greenfield Reservoir, you know, I just, I don't come too often enough because it's that further away to travel really. Finally here anyway. So this part of the Peak District, to say we're in the northwest of the Peak District, and this particular part falls within Greater Manchester. There is a small part of the Peak District with, which does fall within that county. Um, we're not really very far from where I did my last walk, because just above me up there is the A635. Um, and as you go slightly further east from here, it crosses into West Yorkshire, and it was just there where I started my last walk, because uh, that was just off the A635. There is one particular location on this walk that I am looking forward to visiting, and I think now I can just see it above me in the distance. Beyond the head of the lake, the ongoing track followed the tumbling course of Greenfield Brook. The track continued into an ever-narrowing valley before rising to a turning area at the meeting of two higher ravines. So, I'm at the intersection now between two valleys. 
that's not my way. I'm going up there. That's Birch and Clough. And that's going to be probably the most challenging part of today's walk. A bit of scrambling involved then. This will be fun. So there's no obvious path at Birch and Clough. You just want to scramble over the boulders. Just keep it in line with the stream. I think I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is where I cross back over the stream and I head up that way. So hopefully that's the most difficult part of today's walk. But what a beautiful cliff Birch and Clough is. Absolutely wonderful. Right, just got to get across the stream now then. Made it! Made it. Well, I barely got my feet wet, so that's a bonus. I think if you come here in less dry weather, though, when the stream is in full force, I gather this is quite a wet cliff to actually clamber up through, so... <sighs> After crossing the stream, I climbed up the slanting path, doubling back along the edge of the gorge. What a beautiful walk. Now that I've actually gained some height, what fantastic views I got. I can now see right across Saddleworth Moor. Wonderful. And I can just see cars driving along the A635 over there. Just as they drive across Saddleworth Moor. Well, I'm not going to stand too close to the edge here. <laughs> but there's Birch and Clough, through which I scrambled up. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Yep. That's a very spectacular rocky outcrop there. Okay, onward that way I go then. Okay, when I was down there earlier, I was pointing up at something that I said I was going to be visiting later on. Well, I've now arrived at it. This is the Trinacle. as wonderful as I've seen it in photographs. It's great to finally be here myself. My first time to the Trinacle. And this must be the most photographed spot in this part of the Peak District. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> The Trinacle is a detached three-pronged pillar of stone, 
with an ascent that's best for expert scramblers with a good head for heights. It was only right for me to climb up onto it, and I felt confident and safe enough to do so. Of course, getting up was not necessarily the hardest part of the exercise. So I've taken the obligatory photograph of me on top of the trinacle. Now, what I should have done was, as I stood on the left-hand side, I should have jumped across to the right-hand side, because apparently that's the done thing when you're up here. No way, Jose. <laughs> Far too dangerous for me. Okay, well, I better carry on now, but it's been absolutely wonderful seeing the trinical. I carried on along the ridge enjoying the great views opening along the valley as I rounded the headland above Ashway Rocks. A little farther on, and set back to the left, is the elaborately carved Ashway Cross. This is the Ashway Cross. Very well worn now, <laughs> but it's a memorial to James Platt, who was killed in a shooting accident in 1857. Just want to have a closer look at what it says on the memorial. Here by the accidental discharge of a gun, James Platt Esquire, MP for Oldham, lost his life. I think that says the 27th of August, 1857. I walked on above the narrowing clough of Ashway Gap, crossing its head and doubling back along the other side. Oh wow, just look at these views over Dovestone and Yeoman Hay Reservoirs now, absolutely wonderful. Right above Duffstone Reservoir now. You see bits of it as I walk along. So this is Dovestone Edge. So I'm probably about halfway through the wall now. I shall crack on because I've still got a quite a long way to go. In memory of Brian Toes and Tom Morton, who lost their lives whilst descending the second cellar tower, Italian Dolomites. Oh. place to, to have a home. I'm assuming this was a home of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. see some kind of building here at one time. Oh, imagine if this was your house and you woke up to that view of a dovestone every day. <laughs> uh, having said that, it's a flipping long way to get up here. <laughs> Oh, 
path along the edge here is starting to curve round to the east. So soon we should be reaching another point of interest. Here we are then. This is Chu Reservoir. Chu Reservoir was built in 1912 and it's at a height of 1600 feet and when it was built back then it was the highest reservoir in the country. However, it has since been superseded by another reservoir and I'll talk about that another time. But it's still pretty high at 1600 feet. Just over there you can see home moss. So, particularly if you've been watching my recent walks, you'll have an idea of where we are. Uh, you go around that sort of the reservoir, there is a path that actually takes you out onto the Pennon Way near Lado Rocks. But yeah, I'm not going over that way today. I'm going to be crossing the dam now, and I should be sort of more or less doubling back and following the Chew Brook. From Chew Reservoir, the service track drops steeply into the valley of Chew Brook. In one mile, I turned left off the track to follow a footpath. Crossing over Tubrook now. And the path that I'm now following runs along the bed of a tramway quite sure when that tramway would have been around but when it was in use it was used to actually haul over 40,000 tons of clay up the valley to waterproof the dam at Chew Reservoir. So I've reached Dovestone Reservoir again. So I'm just about to walk round one side of it. And then that's the end of the walk. Fantastic. But just before I start walking beside the reservoir, just something I've noticed which I have always found quite interesting. Dovestone is spelled either as one word or as two words. Now, it doesn't seem to be any sort of like correct spelling. It just means, seems to be spelled either of the two really. Dovestone or Dove Stone. <laughs> oh well. Let's go on with a walk beside the water then. I follow the track along the eastern side of Dovestone Reservoir, which lies at the merging of the Greenfield and Chewbrook Valleys. Dovestone is the lowest and largest of the three Greenfield Valley reservoirs. It supplies drinking water to the surrounding area and is a tourist attraction providing several beautiful walks amongst the picturesque landscape in this part of the Peak District. Wonderful. Well, whilst I am walking beside Dovestone Reservoir, I'd like to give a shout out to Ken Hughes. Hi Ken, hope you're keeping well. Now Ken has got a YouTube channel and it's called Outdoors with Ken Humes and Ken lives local to this area. He's done some films of walks around Dovestone and he's done some films of other walks in the area too. And uh, before now he's very kindly left some comments on my channel too so thanks for that Ken, much appreciated. And in one of his comments he did actually say that he'd love me to make a film around Dovestone Reservoir. Well Ken, here I am finally at the wonderful Dovestone Reservoir. 
I have to say, it's been an absolute pleasure. So thank you for that. So yeah, Outdoors with Ken Humes. I'll leave the link to his YouTube channel in the description below the video. I'm coming to the end of my walk now then. I'm just approaching the dam for Yeoman Hay Reservoir again. My car's parked just up in the trees there, just below the A635 at Bing Green Car Park. Yeah. What another fantastic walk. And I'm so glad that I've finally come to Duffstone. It's been a wonderful walk. Quite tough to start with, but every mile was worth it today. Walking beside Duffstone Reservoir, and I particularly enjoyed walking up to the wonderful Trinicle. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs>